What up guys, here we have an Assateague Island National Seashore mug with Teleplay. And with this scene, I decided to keep it really subtle. Um, no big animations or anything. I wanted to be just like the mug is on a beach. And I was actually at Assateague Island. It's an incredible place. And that's where I got the mug from. So I like adding motion to, to my scenes because, you know, we can do video. Uh, why not make it a video? So here I have a Coke can and I'm gonna kind of pretend that it's like a like coffee pouring down into the cup. Okay. Okay, so that was my kind of way of showing that you know, there are there are like apps out there, AI apps where you can just take a picture of the smug, for example, and it'll place it in a, it'll remove the background. But my goal with Teleplay is to show you that, you know, you can add, you can make it look much more realistic and add movement, which will capture your customer's attention a lot better than just a still image. Um, and with this, you know, I could have had it, I could have had the whole mug like rotating uh, because it's on a display stand, but I really wanted to keep it simple and realistic because in real life, the sand is not going to move by itself. Okay, so let me show you what I'm doing in terms of the physical setup. I have one, two, 100 watt LED uh, daylight bulbs lighting the green screen and then I have three uh, one two three lights lighting the actual product scene and I have the product scene elevated on elevated to so that it's flush with the camera of the iPad which is right here otherwise you know if I didn't have it elevated this mug would just not even be visible on the camera and for the actual uh, bottom, I literally have a picture frame, put some sand on it, got some seashells. I got this from Michael's all together for maybe like eight, seven dollars. And for the actual background, what I did is I went to pixels.com. It took me about 10 minutes to find the background, which really works with this scene. But I literally just searched for beach. Uh, anyways, okay, my internet's messed up right now. So literally all I did is I searched for beach. And then I so I searched for beach. Uh then filter I did um or vertical because we're shooting in vertical. So I, here I selected about three or four pictures, which I really liked. Then what I did is I tested them inside Teleplay. See, this one works too. And then what I did, it, once I found one which I really liked, I blurred out the the photo using the Blur Photo app. So that way, when I put it inside Teleplay, it looks nice, like with a nice bokeh effect going on. So let me show you, so. So this was the original photo I downloaded from pixels.com. It kind of looks nice, but I like it when the background's blurred out. And this is what it looks like with the blurred out version which I feel makes it a lot more realistic looking. And there we go. So for the actual foreground, I decided to keep it really simple. I went to plants and flowers, foreground category, did the des desert plant six gust one. It's technically a desert plant, but it's like a nice little plant, which works well here as well. And that's it. And then you can add some motion by pouring uh, dark liquid inside because dark liquids 
uh, look a lot. Here, let me remove this because dark liquids look a lot better in a green screen. Okay. There we go. And I think coffee would work even better because it's like a, a more dark liquid. Well, this is it guys. I'm here if you have any questions.